Well, the military and the midterms, a developing story topping our brand new hour here of Amer America Live. Hi, everybody. I'm Megan Kelly. We are getting reports from Washington today that a Justice Department official made remarks recently that some say suggested that states delay overseas ballots, essentially robbing thousands of our soldiers of their right to vote. Shannon Bream has more live from Washington. Shannon, all right, what exactly can you tell us about this meeting and what precisely was said? Well, it involves Rebecca Work. She's the deputy chief of the DOJ voting section within the Department of Justice. Uh, apparently spoke to a group of state officials back in February. Some of them felt that she was suggesting that a law that's designed to make sure the troops do get their absentee ballots overseas, that it wasn't going to be enforced, actively enforced by the DOJ. Now, that same law does provide a waiver by which states can opt out of these ballot requirements if they can show an undue hardship. Some who attended the meeting claimed that Wirtz suggested the waiver provisions aren't clear, and states may not even get in trouble if they don't comply with them. Quinn Hillier, who's a writer at the Washington Times, he spoke with someone who was in that meeting. Here's what he told me. She was in effect saying that there really are broad grounds for being confused about the requirements of the law and the requirements for the waivers and that she was encouraging states to seek waivers in other words, encouraging states not to do all they can to ensure that the military gets to vote. I asked him if that person would be willing to go on the record with that claim, you know, put a name and a face to it. He said they're not comfortable with that at this point, maybe in the future. But he says to back that up, he did talk to other people who were in the same meeting, and they do not dispute that version of events, Megan. If that is true, essentially what they're saying is that the Department of Justice doesn't care about depriving are men and women in uniform of their opportunity to vote. They're the ones who are over there defending us, defending our rights, and they would lose essentially their right to vote because it wouldn't be vigorously enforced by the DOJ. That's essentially what's being alleged here. Just, just, is that correct before I get to the it, response? It is. That is a very serious allegation. But yeah, if these states feel like they don't have to make sure that those absentee ballots get out as required under the law 45 days in advance and that, you know, they file their waivers and maybe the waivers aren't going to be enforced, that kind of thing. That's the suggestion. That is the claim that some people are making is this could cost our troops on the front lines their right to vote. What is what is the response to this allegation from the DOJ? You can imagine as word of that meeting got out uh, and it spread, there was a lot of frustration. Senator John Cornyn of Texas, he's one of the people who co-sponsored this bill that passed last fall that's aimed at making sure our soldiers do get to vote. Not happy when he heard about the meeting. Apparently there's no recording of it, but he did get his hands on the minutes of the meeting. After that, he was so concerned just by what he saw in print, he reached out to the DOJ demanding an explanation. Here's part of the letter they wrote back to him, quote, the Department of Justice is firmly committed to ensuring that our men and women serving in the uniformed services and living overseas have the opportunity to vote and to have their votes counted. Any suggestion to the contrary is simply untrue. I've read that letter. There's a lot of strong language in there. They go on to say that the uh, DOJ comments from Rebecca Wirtz have been taken out of context. Megan. All right, we'll stay on this one. Obviously, that, that is an important issue. Shannon Bream, thank you so much. Sure.